Robert Carter is a native of Decatur, Illinois. Robert achieved his bachelor's degree from Millican University and further achieved one of the earliest master degrees in television from Syracuse University in 1953. After proudly serving the United States Army for two years, Robert began his broadcasting career in Terre Haute, Indiana. Throughout the late 1950s, he worked as a local radio disc jockey and an on-air television talent for a local station. So popular was his teenage weekly dance show that Robert was asked to substitute for Dick Clark on American Bandstand several weeks while Dick was on vacation. This notoriety caught the interest of Sarkis Tarzian, who had recently opened an independent television station in Indianapolis and Bloomington, WTTV Channel 4. Moving to Indianapolis, Robert fulfilled the roles of television production, direction, performance, and sales. Robert enjoyed many broadcasting roles, and especially being a ring announcer for championship wrestling with Dick the Bruiser. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob Carter, special championship wrestling reporter, telling you about the big card coming up at the Chicago Amphitheater, Saturday, November 2nd, 8.30 in the evening. It's going to be an exciting... Robert also hosted a four-hour daily live talk show called Coffee with Carter. On this show, while performing a live commercial featuring Robert eating a chicken leg, Robert had no napkin, so he looked directly at the camera, licking each one of his fingers, and stated, Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's finger licking good. Thus coining one of the most recognized slogans in all of television advertising. It's finger licking good. In 1962, Robert sold a sponsorship for a new horror movie show and was given the task of creating a horror host character to present the commercials for the 13 weeks that the show was contracted to air. Sammy Terry was born. Robert Carter's creation of Sammy Terry lasted 30 years as the weekly weekend television horror host that scared generations of Hoosier television viewers. Sammy Terry continued to perform on WTTV4 for television specials beyond the show's cancellation and off-air performing live vaudeville-styled stage shows throughout the state to sold-out crowds everywhere. Recently, Robert Carter Sammy Terry was inducted into the Horror Host Hall of Fame as the longest-running television horror host in American history. <laughs> and next Friday night, you'll be even more perplexed and frightened when you see my tale of terror. A favorite camp event is to gather around the campfire. In 2010, Robert, Unable to continue to perform the Sammy Terry character, asked his son Mark Carter to continue the role of Sammy Terry due to the continuing demand of audiences that Sammy Terry drew, both from television and live shows. It is Mark's honor to carry on his father's broadcasting legacy performing occasional television specials and sold out live events as one of Indiana's most beloved television characters and pioneers.